New skin added into the Fortnite. Okay, it's the vampire skin, but male. I never understood why don't they just put the male version also in the event. Like, that's something I never get. You see, here's the female version, okay? Looks very fashionable, but people are asking for male. So, we gotta spend another 1500 V-Bucks on a skin that we could have got for free. I mean, like, what? And it's times like this, like, I don't even know why we even try anymore. No matter what we do, we're gonna get cool skins that we can't get because they're way too overpriced. And for some god knows what reason, they're not even in the event. Like, it's ridiculous regardless, okay? I talked about this on my last video and I still can't get over it. In my last video, two people comment down below saying I misspelled Fortnite. And what could I only say to that is, of course I misspelled it. Like, to those who don't know, I'm dyslexic, so I cannot spell or read that well. It gets very annoying now and again, but, you know, what are you gonna do? You're born with it, you know? Also, here's the thing that actually makes me a bit weirded out. The fact is the fact that more than one person comments saying you misspelled Fortnite. Look, I get it. If one person only typed that in, you don't have to be the other person to do it. I'll see it, okay? Relax, damn. I mean, like, I appreciate you guys pointing out my mistakes. Well, legitimately, I'm not being mad or anything. I mean, it helps me become more better and more safer to my videos. But just please, just have one guy comment down below saying I misspelled something or anything like that. Because it'll just make anything more nervousing if many the more person comment about that. You know what's very weird? Say you made a friend, okay? Become best friends or girlfriend. I don't even care what you guys turn into. And next, you know, you're playing Xbox every single day. And then all of a sudden, they just disappear. Like, they won't return your invites. They won't talk to you anymore. I mean, it gets ridiculous and a bit mysterious, to be honest with you. And in fact, it, it pisses me off. Like, I remember a long time ago, I knew this kid named Christian. And let me tell you, this kid, like, sweared a lot. Like, he cursed a lot. Get out of here, dude. Do not interrupt my story, asshole. Anyway, me and him became good friends, and he made me die laughing to how many times he used to rage. But, but the weird thing is, I raise in one match, and he calls me a weirdo, and I never hear from the kid again. Like, I invite him to a party, he doesn't accept. I send him a message, he won't respond. I do this, I do that. I'm like a jealous girlfriend who can't get over the ex. That's, that's, that's how I was, you know? That's how I felt. You know what I have to say about that? Don't be, like, a dick about it. Just fucking say it that you don't want to hang out anymore. Just don't be, like, all mysterious saying, Oh, I didn't want to hurt your feelings, dude. I'm not a bitch. All right, I can handle it. Fuck. Like, honestly, has anyone been there before or is it just me? I can't be the only one because it really does make me pissed off and a bit mysterious at the same time. Like, I don't know what it is. He's gonna... Yo, what, he's doing a whole bunch of editing shit. Get out of here. And when I look at a video like Luffy is here nowadays, I just see like a very old man making fun of children. It's weird too, because it seemed pretty perverted at the time, which it was. I don't know why I didn't see it before. Though he did get some good pointers when it came to his feminist videos, I didn't feel any love between Luffy anymore when I saw iDubbbz's his video on Luffy, because he made very good points. It was like my eyes being opened for the first time. I didn't really think of all that stuff until I saw iDubbbz's video. It's ridiculous too, because if you saw Leafy's here's video on, on iDubbbz, it turns out anything that iDubbbz said about Leafy was true. And, and he proved that that between Leafy is roast on him. Like it made a lot of sense, I ain't gonna lie. Dude, that's what goes on between YouTube nowadays. I mean, we got, got YouTube drama. We had Weefies here, we had Jake Paul, we don't want to talk about him. We had Logan Paul, we don't want to talk about him. It's ridiculous, and of course, I'm smart enough not to get into an argument with those kind of YouTubers because, because these guys in their pastime have ruined other YouTubers just because of the other rants they made. And I'm kind of afraid if I make a, any rant on those guys, I'm just worried like people would see like the rant on me and like, you know, my video gets taken down or something like that because other YouTubers do that in their past. I ain't gonna lie. When you see a guy like Leafy is here or Pyrocyclical, Pyrocyclical? Fuck, I don't even know what his name is. Okay, who cares? They got fame and money by just making fun of people for like five minutes straight. So am I gonna stir up some YouTube drama? Probably in the future. You never know. Anything is possible, obviously. I'm gonna try my very best to stay out of it because I think that's the smartest thing to do. Get off my teammate, bitch. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Get laser, kid. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here. Oh, my God. You, you kids are bad. Hey, guys. My name is Shofar Badoom. Hope you guys actually enjoyed the content. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.